Hi, my name is Armand Martin. Uh, I'm the author of the book The Quantum Divine Nexus, A Journey to Unify Science and Spirituality to Unveil Life's Purpose. This is the second part of my video in which I give you a walkthrough uh, and a compilation of all my videos that I have created uh, for YouTube in order to shed light on the topics I cover in the book. Don't miss the first part on the long videos and also uh, where I have a short introduction into my journey and into the unification of science and spirituality. Without further ado, have fun and enjoy the shorts. Embark on a deeply transformative journey with the groundbreaking book, The Quantum Divine Nexus provocative, mind-bending, and deeply touching. A rigorously scientific, yet deeply personal and emotional journey to unify science and spirituality and to unveil life's purpose. Open to anyone ready to go beyond the superficial, the book bridges complex ideas for laymen and experts alike. The Quantum Divine Nexus is now out and available worldwide. Get it as hardcover, paperback, or ebook. Order now on your local Amazon store. Reality isn't what you think. It is shaped by observation. Explore the mysteries of the universe. Quantum physics teaches us that observation shapes reality. But who is the ultimate observer? The Quantum Divine Nexus bridges quantum physics, psychology, and consciousness to uncover the truth, necessitating the existence of a creator and redefining reality itself. We've measured time as a river, flowing from past to future, but what if time is an ocean, vast, infinite, and fundamental? The Cronon field theory reveals time as the basic fabric of reality formed by quantum particles called chronons. These particles create a multidimensional ocean binding everything across existence. Dive into the ocean of time and reality. Discover the Cronon field theory in the quantum divine nexus. Consciousness, the essence of who we are, yet a mystery no one can fully explain. Today's science tells us it's just an emergent property, physics and calculations giving rise to awareness. Here's a secret. No one knows how anesthetics work. How can it turn off our consciousness, leaving the body functional? It's a mystery. But there is a radical explanation. The Penrose Hameroff hypothesis proposes consciousness might be quantum, emerging from microtubules in our neurons. What if consciousness, or the soul, is not confined to our bodies? Could this be God, the source of our consciousness, binding us all to the infinite fabric of existence? Explore this idea. How do we know reality? Are we seeing the full truth or just shadows of it? Over 2,000 years ago, the philosopher Plato described this in his famous allegory of the cave. Imagine prisoners chained and staring at shadows. To them, these shadows are reality, yet they're mere illusions cast by a fire behind them. Now, suppose one escapes. At first, the light blinds him, but soon he sees the fire, the objects casting shadows, and finally, the vast, vibrant world outside the cave. Now, picture several blindfolded people touching an elephant. One feels the trunk and says it's a snake. Another touches the leg and calls it a tree. 
Each is right in their own way, but none sees the whole elephant. Like the blindfolded observers of the elephant, we perceive only fragments of a greater reality. And like the prisoners in Plato's cave, we often mistake illusions for the full truth. True understanding comes from stepping beyond isolated views and uniting science, spirituality, and philosophy. The quantum divine nexus bridges these gaps, combining science, spirituality, and philosophy to reveal the full picture. Why are we here? What's the purpose of life? Don't ask such silly questions, just focus on school. As we grow, life's most profound questions are often silenced. But what if those questions hold the key to everything? The Quantum Divine Nexus is more than a book. It's a transformative journey into the interconnected truths of science and spirituality. What is the purpose of life? Why am I here? Even this guy wonders about life's purpose. Humans don't even ask the big questions anymore. Hmm, maybe this book can answer my questions. It's time to get some answers. Pre-order the Quantum Divine Nexus now. Do it! Why are we all becoming so self-centered? Is society turning us into narcissists? Or are we already there? You've got it all. Money, success, power. But why does it still feel so empty? What's the purpose of life? And why can't anyone give us a real answer? What if reality is not what it seems? Time flows differently than we think. Our thoughts and intentions ripple through the universe, shaping it in ways we're only beginning to understand. The Quantum Divine Nexus is a groundbreaking journey to unify science and spirituality. It's not just a book, it's a new perspective, a transformation we all need. Success, wealth, luxury, for years, I chased them, believing they held the answers. The thrill of pouring champagne, the roar of a fast car, the view from the top, none of it could fill the void within. Alone, surrounded by everything, I realized I had nothing. But then, I discovered something deeper. Time, reality, existence, it's all connected. Science and spirituality aren't separate. They're intertwined, revealing truths that can transform our understanding of life itself. In much of the modern world, happiness is defined as success, measured by wealth, status, and achievements. But is that what truly brings joy? For some, happiness is simpler. It's found in connection, in faith, and in the bonds of community. But we rarely ask, which path leads to true contentment? In some places, material wealth defines happiness. But it often comes with loneliness and emptiness. Meanwhile, in other parts of the world, Joy thrives in community and shared values, regardless of material possessions. Perhaps the problem isn't how we pursue happiness, but how we define it. Have we traded meaning and connection for the fleeting satisfaction of material success? Explore the deeper truths about happiness, meaning, and purpose. In the Quantum Divine Nexus, 
science and spirituality come together to redefine life's greatest questions. We live in an age where appearances mean everything. Likes and followers have become the currency of worth. But what lies beneath the surface? Narcissism has quietly crept into our lives, into our society, and into ourselves. Is it possible we no longer recognize who we truly are? Narcissism isn't the end. It's the beginning of a journey. Open the door to truth, transformation, and connection. The quantum divine nexus, your path to understanding. Learn how we as a society and individuals can find meaning and purpose again. Embark on this journey and see a different perspective. Feminism began as a call for equality and freedom. It tore down barriers, empowered women, and reshaped society. From voting rights to workplace opportunities, it gave women a voice, a choice, and a rightful place in the world. It was a revolution that changed lives. But somewhere along the way, Feminism was hijacked. Its focus shifted from empowerment to ideology, one that pits men and women against each other. And the biggest victims? Women themselves. Research shows they've never been more unfulfilled, disconnected, or unhappy. Science and spirituality both reveal the truth. Men, women, and families thrive when they reconnect with their purpose. It's time to reclaim balance, meaning, and fulfillment. Did you know that less than 0.07% of all men aged 25 to 40 in the US meet the minimal criteria many women have for a man? That's only 14,200 men across the entire country. You don't believe me? Let me show you why, based on statistical data. Okay. Let's take 1,000 men between 25 and 40, representing U.S. male population in total. Let's start with height. He has to be at least 6 feet tall. About 15% of men meet this criteria. So 150 men out of 1,000 left. But he also needs to be confident and good-looking. About 7.5% of men meet this criteria. Only 75 men left. And of course, he has to earn over $150,000 a year. Only 0.3% of men aged 25-40 meet all these criteria. That's three out of every 1,000 men. Now, let's include another commonly mentioned expectation. A minimum of six inches for personal equipment. Now there are only 0.06% left. Zero out of our 1,000 men and only 14,200 men in the US. And then we ask ourselves, where are all the good men? The truth is, these men don't exist in the way we imagine. The groundbreaking book, The Quantum Divine Nexus, explores the lies we tell ourselves and the truths. Are you ready to see reality? Out now as paperback, hardcover, and ebook. Order now, only on Amazon.